Right. Annie asks, uh, we are new to Teams. Our old system, we had a way to communicate active shooter and other emergency via a broadcast page. Is there a way to communicate a 911 type situation uh, within Teams that would command attention? Um, and so Teams is installed in a manufacturing facility. And this is uh, one of the use cases of the uh, the, the cross-channel message capability. This is one of the scenarios that they specifically highlighted. Of course, there's other ways of doing that too. You can you can create a, a tag for you know for like the entire company or to in specific roles or specific regions or office buildings or like that. So you can uh, um, tag those groups of individuals on a message that they'll see across things but that or you can use the specifically the cross message the cross channel communication to broadcast a message out to everyone i've seen it where um organizations have an established um emergency type um or you know teams emergency notifications they've actually got a team or a channel that's very specific in regards to that that everyone actually has to subscribe to so that when they do an announcement out they know that it's then a 911 um and they can be important and it depends on the type of organization you are as to whether you do something like that as a you know having that as a desktop type alert and i mean there are other ways but <clears throat> It then, uh, uh, you know, you got Teams phone as well. So if you're looking at Teams mm. phone, is it coming out via uh, a call? Like you can do the messaging out via a call, like to all. Um, yeah, are other, you know, the text messaging alerts. There's different applications to be able to do it to do. It. Are you wanting it to be in Teams? Are you wanting it to go to their mobile phone? Mm -hmm. Does everyone have Teams on their mobile phone? Number right. one is right. always another question too. It's like, where are you trying to send it to? But you can establish that crisis information channel. Mm -hmm. And then you can have it where it then automatically shows in, you know, everyone's channel list. So you can kind of set that up, um, make the channel so that it is a, um, they can't actually post in there. It's just right. for the owners of the channel. So you limit the posting access on that actual channel. And then that way they kind of know it is, it, I mean, it kind of makes it then, um, um, an easier way to manage it because it hasn't got a lot going on. And then having there, the only people that are owners in that channel are those that are appropriate. So it could be comms and managers yeah. and facilities and wardens, fire wardens, who's the designated emergency people. Um, and then that way you've got some restrictions around who can push out things like, um, you know, fire alerts or there's been a and I've been, I've actually been inside organisation where I was, you know, doing work at the time, and and I kind of went, can that, can that smell? Does that smell weird? Something smells a bit weird. Next minute, fire alarms are going off. The emergency alert came out through all different channels, including Teams, um, and it was actually a gas leak, and um, it was quite strong. Everyone kind of had to get out. Mm -hmm. Ambulances had to be called because the gas leak was so strong. There's a lot of people that were faint and vomiting and all sorts of things. So it actually can happen um and it was a it was they had gas bottles there to fill up machines kind of stuff and that was what I got. so you got to know where it's going for your um for your, uh, for your organization but microsoft has also got their um, teams emergency operations center as well for mm -hmm. incident responses and sharing um so there are uh, different ways to be able to do it it's an open source it's supported by Microsoft for incident management. So that's another place that you could do for emergency notifications and desktop alerts. So um, different different type of stuff out there, depending on what you want yep. to do. Well, it is. Yeah, go ahead, Norm. If you're in the if you were just limited to teams, would you have created a. Uh, like a public team for everyone in the yep. organization? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That and then you thing. just limit the channel, you know, you just limit yep. the channels. The, the it comes stuff. down to what type of channels you've actually got, yep, but yep, yeah, yep. a public channel. Um, and you can do a, you know, everyone has to be subscribed to that kind of channel as part of a public channel. So bringing right. everyone in. So they all have to have access to get that notification come up on whatever device you want it to come up on. Uh, you know, it, you know, we think of teams and you would naturally think that you'd be part of a team inside of teams, but that's not really the the reality yeah. in the world yeah, not a lot it. of people are people it's still don't just like chat and meetings <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. But, but yeah. So I, then you I, do it at mention. You do an at mention of that channel, and so that when you do oh, a yes. when you do a post, um, make sure that you're also at mentioning to get some of those notifications. Or you know, if you're doing an announcement, it will automatically do it. So when you click on uh, your, just so you know, when you do your new conversation. So click on the A, you got the little A with the pen on it. And yep. on at the top, you got new conversation and you do a drop down. You can either do a new conversation or an announcement. An announcement will automatically start to push out those notifications. Right. Yep. And I know when like on a one-on-one on -on -one chat or just a chat, not a channel conversation, we have the options for uh, the priority of the delivery. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure they have the... Like there was like an, an urgent or an emergency. There is an type. urgent. Correct. There's yeah, an so urgent. you can match it as urgent. Like yeah, so persistent. it'll then give you it'll give you um every two minutes for twenty minutes, you'll actually get an emergency. Uh, you'll get that notification flashing up for twenty minutes. So yeah, yes. every two yeah. minutes for twenty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's other things too. If you're using like the uh, the meeting or you're using the the phone, so you know, the, the the unified communications aspects of Teams. Um, right, yeah. There's also some features I've never used it because I'm not mm -hmm. a UC customer uh, for within Teams today. Um, but you do have the ability to again, if the administrator can go and send met broadcast messages that will cut across. Is so it? if there are people that mm -hmm. are in the middle of a meeting or a conference call or something through Teams, then they'll They'll get those broadcasts that'll come across those as well. So again, that's something a company can go and set up. And then there's other stuff as well, like mm -hmm. um, because I know I think it's some of the same feature set where Microsoft announced like the integration with some third-party tools. I don't I'm not sure what's native, but to incorporate actually 911 into mm -hmm. and that's the U.S. of course 999 yeah. in the U.K. and um, triple zero and what, yeah yeah. So, uh, you know, to reach it, you know, so that you can set that up. So it'd make it very easy to alert for uh, for emergencies. That's one of the problems in the modern world that we're using all of these virtual environments, these digital tools and cell phones is that uh, we're, we're unsure. Like if I'm, I've got my phone number, if I, if, you know, that's local, it's a, not a local number, it's three States away. And so, yeah, and that's why, you know, you've got to, you can't just call and say, hey, emergency, send help here. They're like, where are you? Do you this Is this the right the number? Which which region are you in? What's give us the, the location around that? Um, you've got to build those parameters into your system as well um, to make that 911 capability, you know, work. And governance and compliance around it. Who can, at what point, and educate your staff as to how that will actually come out to them? Because, you know, not everyone should be able to send that kind of information out. I mean, just yesterday, um, remote desktop was down an organisation and everyone received a text message in the morning going, it's down. And if you work in this for the day, uh, too bad, so sad. Um, and then at the very end of the day, it's still down. Um, continue. <laughs> Luckily, yeah. it was coming yeah. into the weekend, but it was down all day for the organisation. For people working from home, it was then just a nightmare. They, you know, couldn't do their job for the day. I have to say that you know that was something traditionally which would be on the intranet page. You get those announcements yeah. of what's happening too, with the system, and with the. Too. Now with the release of the new homepage, um, so that you know, the further integration of you know, so so I'm bringing it all back together here, you know, uh, the <laughs> but with uh, Viva connections and with integrating your intranet into Teams, so that's yet another place that you can publish that still to your SharePoint intranet. So if you have that done and you have that as the front page on top of Teams, it's yet another place that you could broadcast those messages. And through, you know, going through Viva Engage and, you know, there's, I mean, yep, there's lots yep. of different ways that you could potentially push out. We're talking teams here, but there is so many different ways you could actually engage in the organisation. Just, you know, pick your poison, as they say, whatever it is. Yep. Um, make sure that you do your education. You've got very strict parameters around who can actually do it and why, so that staff kind of know, well, it really is an emergency. So, yep. yeah. Yeah. The, the the challenge here isn't the technology, hmm. it's it's the process, acknowledging that yeah. yeah the process and and acknowledging that everyone's going to take it from receive the the information from all of these different elements like you're saying Christian so to assume that it's just Teams and it's just going to be a Teams channel notification is much bigger than that it's going to be not everyone's going to be. 
Not everyone's so, going to be in teams. They might be. That's why team, I highly think, yeah. recommend that everyone. So if the, it, when you see the notification that every desk has an air horn. And so you see the message, start blasting the air horn. <laughs> Guaranteed, everyone in your office will get the message. Yeah. Will certainly work because those fire alarms that you've got, you know, uh, you know, yeah. really useless if you've got a foghorn. <laughs> That's right. Air horn, yeah. foghorn. It's all yeah, good. Below. It all works. Yeah. 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 Ear bleedingly right. loud. That's the point. Yes. <laughs> Either that so or say there's, a different there's emergency free donuts instead. in the lunchroom, and that'll get the right. ready as well. And then, <laughs> and then post, the, post the announcement on the wall above the donuts. Brilliant. <laughs> run. <laughs> Grab a snack and run. <laughs>